All right, so here's an idea that came from Nick W. and Average Student Designs um, via my website, AverageStudentDesigns.com. So we're going to be using Weebly and the site that Nick found, which is Spice Up Your Blog. And I believe he found that on WeeblyForums.com. So we're going to log into Weebly. Um, I'm just going to use my John Smith website at AverageStudentDesigns.com. And then, of course, your password. Log in. And we're going to edit John Smith's website. So, what we want to do is, is hover a picture and have another picture show up. Now, this is kind of difficult to do on Weebly with the tools that they already have simply for the fact that all they have is this picture button up here. You pull it down and you can upload a picture. But after you upload the picture you can't really do anything with it. I mean, I suppose you can make it bigger or you can link something to it. But we want it to show up as another picture. So we'll get rid of this. Now we're going to go into our design tab and the edit HTML CSS. Now we're going to add some new files. And these, this is where we're going to add our picture files. So I have two pictures I've already done, Snowboard and Snowboard 2. So I'm going to add both of those to my files. And I'm going to click Save. So now we're going to go into our elements and scroll down and I'm going to drop some custom HTML. Now we're going to go over to the Spice Up Your Blog. Now if we're scrolling down, you'll notice the making rollover effect image. And here's the code. We're going to copy the code, go back over to Weebly, and we're going to click the code into our custom HTML. Um, HTML. And we're going to paste it. Now you'll notice that the code has a you know, target URL here. So we're going to do HTTP colon slash slash and then AverageStudentDesigns.com You can also use pretty much any other website as long as you start with HTTP unless it's going to be on your page then you can just do slash files slash theme slash whatever page or sorry um, just slash whatever page you're going to the images is slash files slash theme and then whatever your image is so my first image is going to be the snowboard JPEG. My second image, where it says URL of second image here. I just did a change of the first snowboard. So we're going to do slash files, slash theme, slash snowboard 2.png. This is the one that I edited to you know, look cool or whatever. And then we're going to change this. Now you have to put the original name, the file slash theme slash snowboard or whatever your picture is, um, back again so that when your mouse comes off the picture, it goes back to the original picture. 
So you're just going to click out of the HTML. Now you notice the picture box that it doesn't show your image. That is okay. When we publish it, and we go out to our johnsmith.weebly.com, scroll down, you'll notice that the picture is there. Weebly doesn't render the picture. And there's the effect. Mouse off, mouse on. Mouse off, mouse on. There you go, and thanks Nick for the ideas. Please tell me your idea in the comments section below. Thanks guys.